Hey guys, welcome back. So, May favorites. <laughs> yes, May favorites, guys. We're like well past the middle of the month of June and I'm filming my May favorites right now. Yes, guys, I am. Um, <laughs> I just haven't had a chance to like sit down and film them. So, but I did not want to pass them up. They're really random favorites, mostly random. There's like no makeup in here. There's some like fashion and everything else is like super random. So let's start. <laughs> All right. The first thing which was my favorite during the month of May was the phone case that I had, which I completely forgot to bring it up here because I did change my phone case for this month to this one, which is going to be my favorite for June. Definitely. Um, but it was a floral phone case, super cute with like these like mauve type, these mauve type colored flowers like all over the phone case and it was like pink and black and I, I loved it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert a picture of the phone case I got it on Amazon like super cheap I think it was like seven bucks or so um, I'm gonna just insert a picture of it because I completely forgot to bring it with me <laughs> to film so my next random favorite is this water bottle well it's not a water bottle it's like a tumbler that I got from the Dollar Tree, guys. This was just a dollar. And it's like a summer, super cute little tumbler with a straw and like this kind of like, it looks like a bottle cap, like from back in the days. Or like from the the bottled, the glass bottled like soda cans and stuff like that. Um, I thought this was the cutest thing ever. It has watermelons and like margaritas or like drinks and like limes and super super summery super cute i love drinking my water out of this and let me tell you guys i think that's like a trick for me to drink more water i don't know what it is if i have a straw if i have like a tumbler with a straw i will totally drink more water than if i have like just a regular water bottle or like something where i have to like gulp it down i don't know what it is i know it's mental it's definitely a mental thing but that's you know that's like my thing that's like a trick for me if i have a straw i know i'm definitely gonna drink water like crazy <laughs> okay next favorite is netflix <laughs> I've had Netflix forever, but lately I have been obsessing over it because I always find like really good shows. I know I told you guys in one of my vlogs that I was loving like the Turkish series and they were like super good and I still love them. They're amazing, but I just keep on finding show after show or movies or whatever it is on Netflix and I end up really, really liking everything that I have found so far. So I've been loving Netflix right now. I'm watching The Girlfriend's Guide to Divorce, which is like really, really good. It's, it's funny. It's a really good series. It's funny. It's like your typical girly kind of series, I guess. Um, what else? Like, oh, I watched the second season of 13 Reasons Why on Netflix. What else was there? Like, I've seen, like, lately, I've watched so many things on there. So I have definitely been loving, um, Netflix. I have definitely been loving Netflix lately. Netflix has been good. All right, guys, I'm, like, going all over the place. I'm going to leave my fashion things, I think, for last or for kind of almost last um my next thing has been sour patch the sour patch kids but the watermelon ones the ones that come in like the little watermelon shape oh my god i wish i had like the little bag to show you i don't have it with me i'm obsessed with those things like i am obsessed i need to stop because i need to stop in taking so much sugar but you guys know i'm a candy freak and i absolutely love those sour patch watermelon oh my god they're so good I could literally down a bag in less than like 10 minutes. I swear to you. Like I, I am a candy fanatic. And that one is so good. And it's not really that soury. It doesn't taste that soury. It, Sour Patch Kids is more soury. This one has such a good taste and it's not that soury. It's like the perfect little hint of sour. But it's a teeny little hint. It's so, so good, guys. It's so good. All right. So what should I do now? Should I just do like my fashion and then move to channels and then move to music? Or what should I do first? Should I leave music last? I think I'll leave music last. And then I'll just do like my two little fashion things now and then the channels and then let's do that. 
All right, so for fashion, I just have two pairs of earrings that I'm absolutely obsessed with, okay? Now, these are the first ones, and these are from Stella and Dot. If you guys don't know, I'm a Stella and Dot stylist. If you guys love Stella and Dot, the best recommendation I could ever give you is to become a stylist because even if you don't want to sell, you could save money that way. Um, I love Stella and Dot. I'm going to have my link down below. I got addicted to Stella and Dot because of Michelle 1218. I have been watching her for years and you know she's also a stylist and she like would always have show her pieces. I've been dying to show mine and actually this is also my favorite this that I'm wearing right here. Yeah, I don't know why I hadn't written this down. This um let me show you the earrings first. So these are called the Roman chandeliers, okay? And they are so gorgeous. Let me just show you one so you can kind of see. They're so cute. They have like this little white fringe or tassel or whatever you want to call it. And then they have like these little beads going across here of this like teardrop shaped. Look at how beautiful. And they look so gorgeous. They're like the perfect pop of white and gold for any outfit that you wear. They're so beautiful. And every time I've worn these, people compliment me and they always have something to say about it. I wanted to put them on for this video. I don't know why I didn't, but I absolutely love, love, love these earrings. They're gorgeous. So I'm going to have the link down below to the earrings, to my page, etc., etc. Um, highly, highly recommended. They're so gorgeous. They also have these in red. Um, so I will link them down below so you guys can get your own. They're so gorgeous. Like even, even me just putting them like this, tell me, aren't they gorgeous? They're gorgeous. And then the other thing from Stella and Dot is this celestial choker. This is something that Michelle 1218 has on like 24 seven. She doesn't even take it off. I have tried doing that because I don't want to take it off either, but I can't sleep with it. It bothers me, um, to sleep with it, but I love this. It's just like the perfect little pop of gold. You could wear this like layered with any other necklace. You don't have to take it off to put any other necklace on. If you don't know what necklace you're going to wear, it's like the perfect little dainty pop of gold. It's so gorgeous. Just look at it. It's oh my god it's stunning it's called the celestial choker i absolutely love it i don't know if i'm getting close enough i hope i am i'm gonna link it down below and this is one of the pieces that i completely recommend 100 percent like it's beautiful so the next fashion favorite of mine if you guys watch my vlogs you guys know i went on this crazy hunt for these pair of earrings i saw these on i think it's britney born leech's channel and I like literally went ballistic. These are like the rose gold tassel earrings from Sugar Fix by Bobble Bar for Target. <laughs> Guys, they don't have them online sold out. They don't have them on Bobble Bar sold out. Um, I was going ballistic. They're only $12.99 at Target. They're at $48 on the Bobble Bar site. And I got so obsessed with them when I saw them. I was like, Lord, if I have to pay like 40 something bucks, I think I will because they're so pretty. I love them as soon as I saw them. So it's these beautiful tassel earrings. Tell me. And the camera isn't even doing it justice. It's like this beautiful mauve colored earring with like the gold dot right here, which I love because they usually have these with like the little dots, which I don't like. I like it like this. And this color is like... It's beautiful. I could wear it also with this outfit and look how beautiful that would look. Look at this. I am so obsessed with these earrings. Look how gorgeous that looks. I love them so much. So I like went on a rampage looking for these earrings and I finally found them at one of the targets. They were the last pair left. It was like ready for me i walked around i went to the sugar fix little stand they were right in the front i didn't even have to like move anything around or search for them but they're very scarce like you can't find them anywhere so i was so happy when i found these so excited i'm obsessed i'm obsessed with them <laughs> all right guys moving on so two favorite channels this month one of them I've been watching for a little bit. I don't I think I've been watching her way over a month, but I wanted to mention her because I haven't mentioned her yet as far as I know on my channel and I love 
her channel. I don't know how I came across her channel. I love her. I love her channel. It's just like those people where you kind of have like some type of connection with them and you just love watching their channel. Um, her name is Melissa Parada and I don't like that's the name. That's her name and it's the name on her channel. But you can I think you can also look for her as Honeybee Philosophy. I love her channel. I love it. I love the way she carries herself. I love the way she explains things. I love her vlogs. I love the chan the videos that she puts out, her content. Um, I follow her on all social media. Um, we have a lot of several things in common, which I think was probably one of the reasons why I was attracted to her channel. I really, really love it. So I totally suggest you guys to go and check her out. I think you guys would really love her channel as well. Um, so yeah, guys, I am in love with her channel. If she posts a video, I immediately watch it because I just love her channel. It's just that, you know, that good for me. I really, really like it. And the next channel I came across around like two or three weeks ago, I believe. And it is Abadab. That's the name of the channel. Her name is Abigail or Abby. Abigail, right? Her name is Abby, and um, I love her. She's just really, really funny. She does a lot of subscription service unboxings, which I really love. I love doing that because I love subscription services. I think if I had like millions of dollars, I would be subscribed to like every box on the freaking planet because I love subscription services. So she's one of those channels where like you can go and relax and have a good time. She's very like open on camera. She's funny, relaxed, you know, it's really cool. So I really, really do love her channel as well. Um, moving on to music, music. Guys, in May, I have been obsessed with three songs. Okay, three songs. How can I play these so I don't get like copyrighted for them? I think it's like 30 seconds or so. So the first one is completely the first one is X by J Balvin and Nikki Jam and I love the little foot dance I love it I love it all right so let's play a little piece of it And there goes the little foot dance, you know? I love this song. Alright, so that's the first song I've been loving. The next one I've been loving is... <laughs> um, Te Vas Conmigo by Farruko. Oh my god. I don't know what it is about the songs that he that that he makes that are freaking awesome, but this one, it's like the beat is like really really. Sp I don't know what it is. The beat is like so super cool. It's like super cool. It's like this really nice like. I don't know. It's just it's just a thing with the beat. It's just a thing with it, and um, I have been obsessing over this song as well. As the minute that I heard it, I was in Perla's car when I heard it for the first time and Perla's like oh wait what and like she put it again and then I was like oh my god I'm, I'm loving it and then I got obsessed with it I got so obsessed that I wouldn't let her play another song that wasn't this one in the car <laughs> so what it basically is it's about a guy that's telling a girl you know like the words are awesome like if you're in this situation and you hear this guy telling you something like this it's like oh my god I am gonna go with you <laughs> the vasco mio means I'm going with you right or you're going with me. Yeah, no, no, you're going with me. Te vas conmigo means you're going with me or you're leaving with me. So um, what he's basically telling her in the song is that, you know, he that guy doesn't love you the way I could. And, um, you know, you're going to leave with me. Let him keep the house. Let him keep the car. Forget about it. You're going to leave with me. And I'm going to give you everything that he was never able to give you. So so 
it's like a nice kind of like sensual song i don't know i really really like the beat of it too so i've been loving that and then the last song that i've been obsessed with is like the most randomest song ever it's a super cuban song like it's one of these like guatong songs but i got obsessed with it because i follow i don't know if you guys know who baila con Micho is but i follow his instagram account and he is a dance school down here in miami which i i wish i lived close to because i love his choreographies and his classes and it's so awesome like i think he's gonna be a favorite for like ever i'll leave his link down below so you guys can follow him too um amazing and then he always like there's new songs that i've never heard that i hear because i follow him like all the cubaton songs and all that stuff and um there's been a bunch that i've gotten obsessed with throughout like the months that i've have followed his account and then this latest one i just loved it as soon as i heard it it's like i think it's also the beat of the song is what i think it's i don't know what it is but it's i like it all right so It's called Meke Mate from El Tiger. It's not even tiger like T-I-G-R. It's tiger like T-A-I-G-E-R. Like super Cubanish style. I want you to hear the beat too. Like the beat is awesome too, like to dance to. I love it. All right, guys. So I think that that is the end of my May favorites. This was a pretty long video. <laughs> I'm going to have to edit. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I ask you to please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up, you know, if you liked it. Let me know if you like those songs that I have told you about. Let me know what your favorites of this month were so I could try new things, shows, makeup, fashion things songs movies whatever let me know what your favorites were in the comments down below i would love to try your favorites as well and um hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever i upload a video all right guys i love you and i will see you next time bye my loves <laughs>